I am not scared of you. I'm not. You want to sit here and say, on your mom, you'll beat my ass? Okay. Okay. Try it. Try it, Tommy. Go ahead and try it, baby. Try it. Y'all, when I tell you he was on one side of the island and I was on the other side, when I tell you I wanted to whoop that so it's not the fact that they did it's the fact that they're playing me to make me sound like they think i'm stupid but both of them know i'm not stupid and one of my pet peeves is people playing me like i'm stupid is rolling hi um <clears throat> My name is Tylan. Hey, I'm an alcoholic. Hey, I got a story time video for you. What's good, Duffy Gang? It's your boy Tylan Duff, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, I am so tired, so tired of getting played. I almost need therapy. Instead of actually going to real therapy, I actually started hitting the gym. Do you see these guns? No, nah, but for real, I literally started my fitness journey, so I lost a lot of weight, y'all. Like, do you see these photos? You see that pic? You see that pic? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The pic on the left was depression. The one on the right is still depression just by going to the gym. I got a bike from Yiso that I wanna show you guys. This is the Yiso Elephant 32 inch HD bike. Ooh wee, you see it Russ? You see that? This bike is their newest product. It is so amazing, it's comfortable. It is very efficient and it fits inside of this apartment, y'all. Like for real, it fits inside of your home. Everything is controlled within this app, y'all. So you don't really have to subscribe for anything. Like there's free modes, but if you wanted to get like more in depth with like some uh, weight loss programs, everything like that, then you couldn't subscribe, but it's actually really cheap. Like it's really not that much. This being inside of the house so that I don't have to go to the gym and go use a bike has actually really made a difference in my body. But look, I can choose where I want to be at and it'll display on the screen. Like let's go to France. And boom, we in France. Oh, <laughs> like we in France. The bike screen is equipped with Wi-Fi connectivity so you can play apps on your phone onto the screen itself, y'all. Onto the screen itself. I tell y'all, if y'all trying to look good like me, <laughs> you should definitely get this bike. Click the link in my description box below. You also get 10% off this bike, okay? That's all. The reason why you guys are here today is because y'all want to clock that T. You trying to clock that T. Well, I got some T for you. <laughs> Your friend's exes are off limits. I don't give a damn. All right, you have no self-respect for yourself. And I want y'all to listen very closely to this. You can argue with me too. If you are smashing your friend's exes, you have no respect for yourself. You have no respect for them. You're trifling. So I'm gonna come out and flat out say it. I lied in about one or two of my story time videos from last year. I tried covering up for this person, but now I generally just don't give a damn. We all been through this before. I'm not protecting nobody. 2023, new year, new Thailand. I am putting this thing to rest. So remember that story time video I told y'all that uh, I caught my one of my exes uh, getting fucked at the goddamn bar. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is gonna be kind of clarifying some things, some little missing pieces from that story time video because we about to clock that day. <laughs> we never truly dated, but you know, like whenever we would be like fucking around with other people, we'd be getting jealous. I was over at his house a lot. He was over at mine. You know, we were sleeping together. We were doing the whole nine yards without fully committing. Commitment issues, definitely on his side. I'm not even gonna say I had commitment issues because I was definitely ready for another relationship again. But that boy there, Mm, wrong. I should have listened to y'all. I know y'all was saying, I just don't like his vibe. I just don't. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm about to tell you why. Long story short, I was going out. Another friend of mine named Carrington and we all went out that night. That night we were at the bar and we accidentally ran into my ex. So I was like, oh my God. Gosh, I just, I can't believe this. God, why? God, why? Why you gotta do this to me, baby? Why you gotta do this to me? We're in the bar, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, like, oh my God, like, <laughs> you know, a whole bunch of fake stuff. So I was looking at him like, 
Oh, that was Anthony? Okay, you know, he's cute or whatever. I see why you dated him. And I'm like, y'all, I do not date based off of looks. Now, you know, you can't be like, but as ugly. But I don't date based off of looks. I'm dating based off of what do you have in store for us and for me in the future? You know, like, I just don't want to be around with a good looking bum ass nigga. That's why I left to begin with. He's lightweight. He's just been drinking so much that he was fucking around with Anthony. Like, he was trying to make Anthony jealous by like twerking on me at the bar. And I'm like, stop. Like, this is just so messy, you know? But then he also went over there and was like touching on Anthony. So Anthony came over to me and was like, hey, you know, your man is touching on me. Like, can you tell him to like leave me alone? Like, you know, it's real disrespectful for me. Ah, bah, bah, the whole nine yards. And I'm like, why don't you tell him yourself? I already told him to stop the bullshit, but he's obviously trying to make you jealous and do some, some weird stuff. So I'm like, okay, like y'all, if y'all start fighting or doing whatever you want to do, fight, squabble it out. Honestly, I don't give a damn. We're all having drinks, you know, Carrington's there, you know, we're all having like a good time. So then we go to another bar. Anthony's trying to hit on my uh, on my straight friend, Carrington. And Carrington is straight, okay? Um, always had like an issue with me like hanging out with him because he always thought me and Carrington were like doing stuff. But like, why can't gay dudes just have straight friends? Right? Like, it, it's a thing, y'all. I promise you. It, it is a legit thing. Like, straight people and gay people can be friends. I promise you. But yeah, Anthony was fucking, like, irritating him, trying to, like, flirt with him, talking about something. Oh, so you and Karen are in a relationship, but are y'all doing stuff behind each other's back? I'm like, oh, I just can't do this. I just want to have friends. I just want to go out. I just want to enjoy my life. I'm just trying to have a good time. Drama, I'm over it. I'm over it. I started having to do like a mental evaluation on myself. I'm starting to think like, well, goddamn, maybe I am the problem. Because it just seems to keep on revolving around me. But then I really thought and I really had to go speak to a therapist. And it's just like narcissists love to surround themselves around good people, y'all. They will drag you down to the bitter pits of hell because they just truly hate themselves and they hate to see you happy and win. I've had my fair share of narcissists. I'm over it. As we're wrapping up that night, you know, we're all drunk. I'm walking with Carrington because Anthony, he was with his friend, you know, um, they're close friends. And um, we're just walking back to the car or whatever. And me and Carrington strayed away from them because he likes attention. So he likes being like in front of the camera, just acting out. He likes people just being like, oh my God, you know? So there was a, somebody filming a YouTube interview downtown that he was a part of, whatever. And Anthony and his friend were just like, they just got separated. I don't know how. So me and Carrington, we look back and I'm like, where are they at? You know, I'm like, what? what's going on? So I'm trying to call them. No one's answering. When we get back to Carrington's car, because keep in mind at the time, my, I got into an accident, so I didn't have a car. So I was riding with Carrington. I was like, my spidey senses are tingling, you know, like my gut feeling is telling me something is not right. Something is going on and something's happening. And Thailand is being excluded from that something. <laughs> I call him again. I call Anthony and Anthony's like, I'm trying to find best friend because she got separated from me. That was red flag number one. Anthony's very theatrical, very dramatic. And I know that if this girl got separated from him, Anthony would be blowing a goddamn fuse and a goddamn fit, right? He's just like, well, I'm about to go home. You know, she's going to find her way back to the house herself, whatever. Da, da, da. And I was like, hmm, interestingly so. I got receipts, okay? I got receipts for this video. We gonna clock that team. I am like, huh, okay, something's not adding up. So I said, okay, Carrington, let's go ahead and let's go drive home, let's go drive. So as we're driving, I check his location. I see that he's going in the opposite direction of where the fuck he's supposed to be going to go live, go home, cause he lives an hour away from here, right? So I call him and he answers the phone. Instantly by his voice and how he said something, I was like, oh yeah, you finna lie, you finna bullshit. So I was like, hey, like don't you wanna come back over to my house so like, you know, you can have go to sleep so that you don't have to drive home, like all the way home? No, Tyler, I'm gonna drive home tonight. I love you, okay? And I was like, so you're not gonna come to the apartment cause you're really drunk. You sure you wanna drive an hour home? No. No, I'm, I'm going home. As I'm looking at his location, going the opposite direction of where his house is at. Okay, cool. So I hung up the phone, I looked at Carrington, I said, them is about to fuck. <laughs> so he's like, what makes you so sure? And I'm like, I just know narcissists, yo. I'm like, this got narcissists and just gay all over it. So by the time I get home, I'm laying in bed, looking at the location. I kind of put two and two together because this was kind of in the ghetto and I'm like, okay, so Anthony and his friends don't got their stuff together. So they kind of live in like the ghetto. So I was like, so this must be best friend's house, right? After a while, I text 
I texted them both and I was like, y'all weird as fuck. And in response, he's just like, yeah, I know it was a weird night, right? And I was like, mm hmm. I said, my spidey senses are tingling. And then nothing after that. I went to bed, woke up the next day, trying to check his location. His location's off. Actually, he turned off his location that same night, like, because he, he forgot. But honestly, I already knew what was going on before he even turned off his location. So I know that they had a little conversation right there and there talking about something. Oh my God, did you not turn off your location so he did it that night i call anthony the next day and i'm like so like did you make it home did best friend make it home safely you know she's like yeah you know i just don't know what happened i just drove home y'all i was engaged to this man i know just lies i just know lies i know lies so i was like oh, okay so i let it go i just i didn't you know i was just like hmm, okay whatever i know that they smashed that night so it's not the fact that they did it's the fact that they're playing me to make me sound like they think I'm stupid, but both of them know I'm not stupid. And one of my pet peeves is people playing me like I'm stupid. Like, what do you think this is? A month goes by and I was still hanging out with, you know, we were still cool, you know, like whatever. I was just one day hoping that he would just go ahead and just tell me like, what was the tea? So instead of just trying to hide it or think that I'm stupid, right? One night, me and I, I think we were drunk or getting ready to go get drunk. And he was he was telling me, he was like, Tylan, I have something that I really, really need to tell you. And I was like, oh my God, here we are a month later. Please tell me what it is. <laughs> so and I and I told him, I said, Well, it's probably nothing that I don't know already, but you can go ahead and say it. And he's just like, What do you mean you know? You know? And I was just like, Yeah, it's probably something I already know. You know what? Never mind. I'm just not even gonna say it. And I was like, go ahead and say it. Like <laughs> Just go ahead. Like, what's what's going on? Just go ahead and say it. And he's just like, no, I'm just not going to say it. And I said, look, say it. Like, I probably already know. And y'all know what he told me? He said, what? Were your spidey senses tingling? Y'all, when I tell you he was on one side of the island and I was on the other side, when I tell you I wanted to whoop that ass, I'm talking about reach over the island and just, he gave it away right then and there. And I was like... I said, do tell. And he's just like, you know what, Tyler? No, I just, let's just change the conversation. I'm done. So I was like, huh, okay. Two weeks later, after that night, I get a call from my homegirl, Victoria. I basically had this conversation with multiple people because I'm like, how do you think I should address it? Like, you know, they, they both are playing me like I'm stupid. You know, I'm over here with, oh yeah, keep in mind, I stopped smashing after that because it's dirty. So I was like, mm-mm. So it was always like, why aren't we like, why aren't we smashing anymore? Like, why, why, why? And I'm like, because you're dirty. <laughs> like, what, what? Like, I have more respect for myself, okay? Victoria calls me and she's like, bitch, you're not gonna believe this. And I was like, oh, I bet you I will. And then she's like, no, you probably will. You were right. And I said, what was I right about, Victoria? She said, well, called me and, she's, and he said that he has groundbreaking friendship information, friendship ending information that he needs to tell her. Victoria, she's trying to clock that tea. She said, what? 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 Like, tell me, what, what's going on? So, basically confessed to Victoria that him and Anthony smashed that night. Hmm. I knew it. I was pissed the all. And the reason why I was pissed is because instead of coming to me and telling me the tea, you went and go, told my best friend. So that means that you're gossiping. You're being messed. You're telling other people as opposed to just being a man and just telling me. You know, because if you just were being a man and you just told me, I would be cool with it because I don't have feelings for Anthony anymore. I also think that, you know, you're you're one of the main reasons why me and never really like got into a relationship was because we established each other as friends, which is cool. But also the amount of people that he was sleeping with was just it's concerning to me. It didn't it wasn't going to hurt my feelings at all. But the fact that now that you're gossiping about it hurts my feelings. Not hurt my feelings, but pissed me the fuck off. <clears throat> Once I got off the phone, Victoria, I was just gonna let it, I was just gonna let it sit and die. But then I thought to myself, you're making yourself even more stupid by continuously talking to this person and you're just playing dumb because everyone's playing dumb. So I addressed them both that night and I got text messages. I basically told that, let me, let me, pull, let me pull out, let me just pull out text messages. One sec. So I'm just going to put these text messages here so that you guys can read them yourself, like at your own pace, if you really want to read the text messages. I'm not just going to like read them like, you know, out loud. I think that's a lot. But as you guys are reading this, um, you know, I was really like 
not going off on him, but like I was going off on him in a sense, like drag him, but not like drag him to filth because I didn't want to be like that person. It just seemed like I'm bitter or whatever. But I just wanted to let him know that I am a little bit salty about this, you know, situation. And I know you guys are thinking, okay, so how did you break your back for him? Like, what's going on there? Y'all, when I tell you, I spent $500 on this man's birthday dinner because all of his broke ass friends didn't bring any fucking money. I spent $500 on this man. On top of that, like, I used to go drive an hour just to see if he was okay it wasn't just about us just going out but just seeing if he's okay you know caring for him as a friend and i used to set boundaries for him because i would you know i would tell him i'm not lusting after you boy like like yeah you're cute whatever like but i'm not lusting after you i'm not on my knees you know sucking your dick just because you wanted somebody to do that i just wanted to show you what it's like to be a friend you know and um to get responses like what he just said afterwards was really like um okay that's a little bit weird okay because um he was trying to manipulate me like you guys like being a narcissist I, I, I really want to dive deep into the brain of a narcissist, but, like, you will see it. You can see it in your friendships. You can see it in your relationships. Like, it's really, really, really weird, you know? And then um, also seeing Anthony's response. Like, Anthony's response really pissed me off, too, just because it was, like, so nonchalant. And that's what pissed me off because he knew what he did and when anthony whenever he does something wrong he knows that he does something wrong he will act like it didn't happen and whenever you confront him about it he gets off <laughs> yeah you know like it just happened <sighs> shut the fuck up like you stupid dumbass like you're fucking dumbasses <laughs> i'm tired of knowing what dumbasses you know one thing that really pissed me off is that he invited me out to his birthday dinner last year and i paid 500 dollars for everybody not willingly either i was the only one who went with money Except for his other friend, D. She paid her part, but she didn't have it in full. So I just took her money. Everyone else didn't have money. I was already going to pay for dinner, just surprisingly underneath the table. I was not expecting to pay $500 for everybody. So they said that they were going to pay me back, and they never did. They're scammers. So every time I asked for money or asked, like, what's their status, he would always talk shit about them saying how broke they were. So you know what? I just I left that alone. But the breaking back thing was being there as a friend. You know, you're more so you're able to be there for somebody. And it's not all about money. It's about emotionally, physically, mentally, like those things matter more to me than money or something materialistic. Um, talking mess about him. He used to talk mess about me all the time because he always thought that I was talking mess about him. But y'all, you ever met somebody who was doing wrong and they know that they're doing wrong? So they try and question you like a cheater, like in a relationship. When someone's cheating on you, they suspect that you're cheating because they're cheating. That's basically what this was. So honestly, I just, I, I blocked him and I said, you know, your victimhood mindset, once again, instead of owning up to your actions, this is why the friendship is over. Best of luck to you. I didn't even really drag him like I really should have because I really, 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 really should have. Even after I blocked him, y'all, I'm with my management, right? And he's calling me over and over and over, but you know, we're going over video ideas and stuff like that. So, so he was calling me from star six, seven and I'm over here like, yo, this is fucking he's calling me. It's calling me from an unknown number. So I kept on hanging up, 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 you know, cause I blocked him on everything, every social media, I blocked him. So he keeps on calling me. So I texted him, I unblocked his number and I said on my mom, if you continue to try and reach out to me or call me, I am going to whoop your ass. When I said that, <laughs> he had the audacity, yo, the audacity to leave me this long ass voicemail. And I just, I have to play it for y'all. Hold on. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this voicemail, okay? Just so you know, I am not fucking scared of you. I'm not. You want to sit here and say on your mom you'll beat my ass? Okay. Okay. Try it. Try it, Tommy. Go ahead and fucking try it, baby. Try it. I'm not disgusting. If anyone's disgusting, it's you. You still fuck your ex, and you're mad that I fucked him too. Like, get the fuck over yourself. Get the fuck over yourself. And how about you let Ronnie know that you fucked Carrington too? Or was that a lie? Hmm. That might have been a lie, because you honestly are a fucking narcissistic, narcissistic ass little bitch. And you lie to everything. So honestly, who the fuck knows what the truth even is? Honestly, you lie about everything. You don't even know what the fuck is your own truth. So before you sit here and try and tell me you're on my mom, you'll beat my ass.
try me, Tyler. You know my fucking address. Pull the fuck up. Oh, wait. You don't have a car. <laughs> Goodbye, you pathetic ass bitch. Goodbye. He tried to eat me up. <laughs> Yo, when I tell you, when we played that voicemail and we were just listening and we were laughing, I was like, y'all, he just tried to fucking eat me up, yo. Hello? Yo, I don't even know why, but my alarm clock was going off. I don't even, I didn't even know I had an alarm clock. <laughs> when he said that I was still fucking Anthony, that made me so upset because I was like, so what is he telling you? Because Anthony, all he does is this and all he does is lie. He does it to his friends. He does it on me because, but then when we have conversations and I address him, he'd be like, I'm so sorry. I was just so hurt. I just, I just really needed, you know, to let this out. So instead of just communicating with me, you go and you lie on me. So now that's how I know that you're lying to. And saying that, you know, I fuck Carrington, he's straight. How am I doing that? Why would I do that? If that wasn't gaslighting to the fullest, y'all, I don't even know. Like when I tell y'all there are real narcissists that walk planet Earth, there are real narcissists that walk planet Earth. After I let that go, you know, it's been for the longest, like Jazlyn, that was my older mate. Even she told me, she was like, Literally every conversation, every time I hang out with, he's always asking about you. He's always like talking about you, and I'm like, yo, I just, I don't even know. I just, I just want to go separate ways. Like I just don't want him in my life anymore. You know. Even then, so recently, I forgot because I don't even get on TikTok. I really hate TikTok. He tried. He messaged me on TikTok talking about, hey, TT, you know, you can't have me blocked forever. Sis, let me go ahead and block you here too, because I fucking forgot to block you. So I even end up blocking them on TikTok. Like, narcissists will gaslight you, they will belittle you, and then they'll try and come back into your life like, oh, hey, you know. No, I I don't play that. But keep in mind, he said I didn't have a car, because I did get into that car accident. But now I drive a BMW, and it's sexy as fuck. He was always complaining about his truck and everything like that, and gas, baby. I was putting gas in that truck too. I used to send him money for gas. Um, that rinky dinky ass truck. Don't come for me in my car. But I said, so you as a person and respects me thought that this was okay. And the reason why I said that is because Anthony always said, I respect you and I always will respect you. You know, I just I just respect you so much. You're a liar. So I said, I actually think that's a dumb question to me to ask because you don't respect me because you don't respect yourself and it shows. It wasn't even like that to even want to be with him. How is having sex with him shows that I don't have self-respect? I'm saying that because the reason why I said you don't have self-respect is because you had... With, and let me tell you, because I manipulated him into coming to the apartment a couple days later so that he can vent and he cried to me saying, I was just so hurt, so I just wanted to get back at you, so that's why I did this. Also said the same fucking thing. I'm, I'm done with that. That all hurt and trying to hurt Tyler thing. It's really hard to hurt me, y'all. I have very, very thick skin. Y'all are just making yourselves look stupid. But the fact that you were fucking, and then you were also fucking mustard. My ex before you is boyfriend. When you know that boyfriend doesn't even like me, doesn't even like you, and he cheated on you with mustard, it's a mess. There's no self-respect there. It's so disgusting. Like, I'm literally telling y'all, like, dating in the gay community is, like, literally, we're doomed. We're, we're fucked. We're doomed. I just, I don't even know what to say. It I just, don't even, I don't even know how to say it. So that's why I'm saying you have no self-respect. You're letting everybody and they mama smash now. Like, it's so easy to get up in your pants. You have no self-respect. You told me that once we broke up, you just felt so ill, you felt ugly, you just felt like, you know, you didn't even want to look at yourself anymore. So instead of working on yourself, you then go and go fuck the whole damn city to try and get back at me? It's weird. So that's literally what happened. They went to go smash, they thought I was dumb. And I'm over here like, y'all, I already know what was going on. And as far as stuff goes, I wish him the best in life. I really, really do. I don't believe in being fake friends. I don't believe in having somebody who really truly doesn't care about my best interests in my life. Like, I'm not old, I'm very young, but still I'm very mature for my age. Like, I, I know things. Like, even whenever I act like I don't know, oh, I know. But that's why I'm laying this to rest in 2023. I said my piece. Y'all, I really need to take a step back in life because of this, because they really had me, they really had me fucked up. That we can be friends, that we can get some content going and everything. I gave you the benefit of the doubt and you go off and go pull some bullshit like this to me. And now everybody wonders why we all operate off of hurt in this generation. Because we all hurting ourselves. Hurt people hurt people. Wow, ain't that crazy. Hope y'all clocked that tea. I hope you got that. Am I even using that reference right? Clock that tea? I just heard about it. I think it was off of a Big O or something like that. I hate Big O. It's so messy. Big thumbs up. Leave some comments in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Y'all.
I'm ex I'm trying to exclude myself from trifling this in 2023, but this is Tyler the Duff you're talking about. Always, always got something going on. Deuces.